Hi, this is a 2016 Zero FX with the modular battery, and I'm going to show you how to remove the batteries. First, we go to the right side and remove the battery rail using the key that came with the bike. It takes a quarter turn clockwise. There's the latching mechanism. Make sure to disconnect it from the bottom there. Now we come over to the side stand side of the bike and push. And I like to use my thumbs to push and grab the frame underneath for leverage. It should come out pretty easily. There is a large electrical connector that has to be disconnected and that accounts for much of the force. Now the batteries are sticking out far enough that we can easily remove them. These are the large connectors that I was talking about that create most of the friction. While I've got it open, I'm just gonna hit them with some WD-40. That'll help them slide better and that'll help reduce the chance of corrosion. Now I'm going to reinstall the rear battery. Sometimes I'd like to ride around with just the rear battery because it keeps the weight in the back. Uh, it gives you, in this case, 3.6 kilowatt hour capacity, uh, which is enough to go about 30 miles. Uh, if you're going to do that, though, you have to install a dummy plug on the front battery connector. If you don't do that, it won't run. The dummy plug is shipped with the bike under the seat. I don't tend to keep it under the seat. I just keep it out. Now I'll put the front battery back in. Note that these batteries are reversible. If you flip them upside down, the front and the rear can be swapped. Now to reinstall the battery retaining rail. Set it in there, push it forward all the way and lift up a little so it goes in the slot in the front. And note that the little cylinder should be protruding from the hole there or it won't fit correctly. Latch bottom over the little hook and close. And then we do our quarter turn counterclockwise. And we're done. It's very easy to miss this latch, to miss this one of these holes, and you can be riding around and find that this rail is comes right off. So that's happened to me. Don't let that happen to you. Make sure this is fully latched on. Thank you.